All right, I'm going to show you how to make a sidechain EQ effect for DJing. Basically, uh, what this does is it allows you to mix from one track to another, so you, you don't have to worry about EQing your bass. Because as you bring one track up, it will lower the bass on the other track, and then vice versa as you toggle the effects. So let me show you basically how this is set up as an effect here. First thing that you would want to do is um, create a group effect. You could pull in a compressor, right click and hit group. Or you can come up and pull in an audio effect rack. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just create it for you. Drag in an audio effect rack here. And then I'm going to go to EQ3, drag it in. Then I'm going to click over here to show the chains. And I'm going to drag another EQ3. So now I've got two chains. But what I'm going to do here is the top chain is only going to work with the low frequencies. So I'll turn the mid and highs off and I'll set this down to 201. And this one here, I'll drop the lows off of it and also put this to 201. On the first chain, I'll come back and I'll drag a compressor in there. Open the compressor up. Click on side chain. And the audio from, I'm going to take it from audio one, the first channel, since I'm on the second channel. Instead of post effects, I'm going to pick post mixer. And then I'm going to want to set my attacks. And it's actually, these are this is probably fine. Yeah, that, that's probably fine at a real quick attack and a fairly quick release. It's going to be good. And then you're going to want to drag your threshold down. I don't know. I, I'd say, you know, somewhere between 25 and 35. Let's go ahead and experiment with about 28. That's what I've done on the other one here. So I want to keep it consistent. And that's pretty much your setup. Once your effect is set up on both, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn one of your effects on, like I've got it here. So in this one, I'm going to turn this off. And now I'm going to come over here to where it says key. Click on that. And just for this, I'm going to assign uh, a key off my keyboard. So I'm going to assign the Q to this little power button here. On off switch. Then I'll go to audio one. and it's already assigned from previously. Turn that off. And now when this is audio one, when I click it, it'll shut this off and it'll turn this one on. And that way they'll toggle back and forth, which is, you need that for this effect to work. And now I can go ahead and play one song here and then I'll mix in the other song and you'll notice that the bass will drop on the first track while it's bringing in the second track. Once the second track is mixed in, I'll go ahead and toggle back the effect to the other track and then I'll, I'll mix another track back in. So to start, we're going to play this track here and the track that's, that's playing is the track that you want the effect to be on. So we'll go ahead and start with this.
And as you'll notice, the base is full up on this, and it dropped down here. Easily mix it out. And now I'll toggle over the effect over here, and I'll mix the next track in here. how sidechain effect is working here as I bring this track up. So as you can see, there's no uh, bass interference happening because as one comes in, it pushes the other out. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of a new way to approach DJing and EQing inside of Ableton.